Well, I married the most amazing lady on the planet. We've been married 21 years. I don't just say that because she's sitting right there either. Woo dodge that shoe. Uh, but uh, we've been married for, for 21 years. She's an amazing lady. She's got her own walk with Jesus, which is awesome. And uh, we have four kids. And uh, I guess faith at home uh, means that, that you can't just live for Jesus at church. Uh, you've got to talk about your faith at home. Adoption has truly changed our family, changed our lives. Um, it's all Stephen Curtis Chapman's fault. Uh, we went on tour with him about seven years ago on the All Things New Tour. We had just started out as a band and he invited me to sing a song with him on the stage. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding. So the whole time I'm thinking, don't blow this, don't blow this, it's a Stephen Curtis Chapman song. And so I'd show up early every night and listen to the song before hours, so I'd be ready to walk on. The song that he would sing every night was uh, When Love Takes You In. And he told the story uh, of, of Showy and when they adopted and this video of her big pretty face right there on the screen. 84 cities of that. I was pretty much doomed from the start. I'd say by city 12, I'm like, all right. So I end up going to, to Melanie and saying, I think we're really supposed to do this. And like every godly wife, she was looking at me and she said, I know, sweetie, I was just waiting on you to figure that out. We were logged in, I believe, three and a half years and uh, we, we adopted a little girl with special needs. Her name is Hope, and uh, she is an angel. Uh, she was found two days old, uh, wrapped in a blanket outside, uh, outside a hospital, and uh, she was discovered and brought in. She would not have lived to, to day three because of all of her, her issues. Uh, she had three surgeries before she was one. Uh, she's had one surgery here since we've had her, and we were just walking through this journey with her. Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, she is a haul and it's like God just plucked her out of hopelessness and set her into our family, uh, much like Jesus did for me. I definitely believe God chose our little girl. As a matter of fact, um, uh, when we went on the special needs list, it started moving much more rapidly. And uh, we got an email, Melanie got an email, uh, from America World Adoptions, who we work with, great organization, America World. Uh, good people, just love Jesus. The whole thing was just perfect for us. She calls me at the church and she goes, Mark, I just got an email and there's like 20 little faces uh, on this email and all of their medical issues. And, and I said, well, did you see her? And uh, she goes, yeah, I think I've, I've seen her. I said, which one is it? And she goes, I'm, I just want you to look at the email. And she sends it to me. And while we're on the phone, I open it up and I'm looking down 20 faces. And I said, it's Mia, isn't it? And she got real quiet and we got a little teary-eyed and, and we realized we just picked the same little one. So we know uh, that's God's little girl for us. If you could lay out my life and just walk through it with me, uh, I guess what I would want to make sure you walk away with is that Jesus can save anybody. Jesus can use any believer. And Jesus can uh, do a miracle in your life like he has in mine. Not based on me, not because of me. Uh, there's nothing in me that I would want anybody to take home with them. But Jesus can turn the ordinary into the extraordinary.